Hi there. Welcome to the penultimate part of the final chapter prologue. <laughs> the final chapter prologue, aka all this shit that we've been doing since Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Oh boy, welcome friends to the demo for Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 0.2, Burst by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. Gotta love it. Are you <laughs> fucking ready? <laughs> There's Aqua floating on the right. She's filled with gay energy. Are you ready for Aqua is sad? The demo? Always. Also, I would have cut that load screen, but that was so fast, even the control scheme thing didn't have time to load. Mm -hmm. I like that that keyboard there is just a car, set of car keys. <laughs> you can never find the right one. That's what the war was about. <laughs> anyway, to answer your question, I'm always in the mood for some sad lesbian shit. Is this Lucia Wu? Oh, it's got me. It's, oh, it's got the keyblade. And the box, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a good thing we watch back cover first. <laughs> yeah. A thing, like, maybe only six people on this the planet have battle. ever said. Yeah. <laughs> almost upon us. Oh god, the graphics. As you know, <laughs> oh god, the Mickey. <laughs> the oh, look at that Michael. Oh god, he looks kind of bad. Yeah. Mickey's giving me some weird Uncanny Valley vibes. To return to our world, the three Being fair, we lost like, this game. did come out three, four and years before Terror Kingdom Hearts 3 did, Aqua so, like, everything looks a bit funky. Yeah, like, look at that aliasing. Yeah, it's the aliasing and, like, the shading as well is a bit off on Mickey. Their first battle with it's, a, it's a little Yakuza 6 <laughs> Oh. And so Aqua found a safe location <laughs> to conceal. God. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, that's that's a whole. She fell to a place <laughs> that's a whole set of inside jokes, so you don't have time to explain. <laughs> I saw her, in the realm of darkness. God, his face is like the textures are really flat, and then his eyes are glossy. It's it's like too glossy. Oh, Mickey is haunting. <laughs> <laughs> haunted Mitchard Mouse. Susan yeah. drinks all your Pepsi and calls you a bitch. Did you yeah. say Mitchard? <laughs> <laughs> it's the creepy. It's the fucking hyper realistic creepy pasta Mickey Mouse. God, this is a fucking suicide mouse. That's one of the worlds you have to go to in Kingdom Hearts 3. And Sora's just like, I don't get it, it's just a bunch of walking. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 0.2 abandoned by Disney. The guy who made that screamed at me on Twitter because I said he's a washed up hack, so there we go. <laughs> Check out this fucking bumpin' remix. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope y'all are excited for the Tropical House remix of Simple and Clean. <laughs> Aqua's got the Papu. Um, that got, is it the Papu fruit? No, this is the Blood Fighters. He's got that and she's hitting the lesbian bar. <laughs> I already took a bite. I'm married <laughs> now. I really like this intro. I don't think this is my favorite version of this song. But... <laughs> I love these AMV ass intros. Yeah. Oh, Unreal Engine Disneyland. Yeah. Looks better than it does in real life. That's when you came to me. Also, semi interesting thing uh, the version of the song that's in this game is slightly different from the one that got released. Hmm. And by slightly different, I mean it doesn't have like any of these background vocals. What the fuck? Hmm. Anyways, here's your like vague, reimaginative first by sleep. 
This is the happiest Aqua will be in this entire video game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rum Pop Fish showed up again. <laughs> we grab a kiss. She's here to remind you about racism. <laughs> Thanks, Utada. Well, that was a bop. Mmm, now it's already good. Yeah, it's like the third time we've seen this title, thank you. <laughs> Christ, the typesetting on that fucking mass of words. <laughs> <laughs> so this takes place, like, in, or more or less immediately after the end of uh, the final mm -hmm. episode in Birth by Sleep. Which, as you may remember, had us fighting Cinderella World in Could darkness. Right. So here we are now. <laughs> oh, smoke monster from Lost. Get out of here, J.J. Abrams. Cinderella's castle, but golf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with it. The bell rings and it just play rings out a G note and everybody just starts crying, thinking about Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Aqua's got speed. Yeah. This bitch be moving. <laughs> Look at this frame rate. Kingdom Hearts shouldn't run at this high of a frame rate. Mm, not liking how those jumps look. The, the jumps are a little, like horizontally challenged. <laughs> I was gonna say they seem floaty. Here in the darkness. <laughs> it was very clear that this was them going like, okay, we're going to try and make a Kingdom Hearts game like Kingdom Hearts 2 again. Here is a demo so we can get feedback from people. Yeah. And also satiate your need for more Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah, this kind of reminds me of the uh, final fantasy... 14, was it demo? Like tech demo they released? 3 and stuff? Uh, 15? 15, yeah. yeah. Right, the one where I uh, put deja vu. Yeah. Because that's apparently a running joke I do in LPs. <laughs> I can't wait to do it in, or find a way to do it in Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> that seems like an easier one to do it for, because Sonic's all about speed. Yeah, but also I have already recorded, edited, and rendered out the footage for both of the go-karting levels. <laughs> I was about to say, didn't we already cover some of the driving stuff in that game? I know. Yeah. So Multi-hulk <laughs> drifting. I'm gonna have to show off the go-karting minigame just so I can put in deja vu. God. You're gonna have or... to go to the Chow Garden and show off Chow races specifically <laughs> for that. Or maybe I'll just LP a Sonic racing game at some point. <laughs> Also, to go back to the frame rate thing, I do want to point out, the rest of the games we've been doing have been running at 60. Yeah, but this is the first one that actually looks like it. Also, I guess Dark World Cinderella-like town is run by ancaps because uh, there aren't any roads. <laughs> <laughs> You've acquired unlabeled potion. Will you sip? <laughs> I'll sip it and I'll gain 25 shield. <laughs> fuck up. Fuck up with a Fortnite. <laughs> it looks like worse things are stirring. Uh, Kara, would you take Aqua to Misty Meadows? Yeah, but not Loot Lake. <laughs> I really would love to chug chug with her. <laughs> All I know about that meme is it reminds me how good of a song American Boy is. <laughs> I see we've got uh, Kingdom Hearts has kind of got a Yakuza end of the fight thing going. 
Kinda, yeah. Uh, a lot of the things that you'll see in here are going to show up in, like, evolved form in 3. Mm -hmm. uh, 3's definitely got a couple of extra mechanics on top of mm -hmm. it, but, again, this is supposed to be, like, them just kind of pushing out a demo to go, like, feedback, feedback, <laughs> feedback! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to Sora's heat move. <laughs> Horus stomps on a heartless head with his big stupid clown shoes. You get enough heat and you just, like, do a bit of attack with Donald where you, like, spin around and shoot fireworks or some shit. <laughs> just imagining Sora grabbing a shadow and dragging its face across the pavement now. <laughs> <laughs> the, the heat move that's only in one game, but it's stuck with me for so long because it's so fucking horrible. Yeah. <laughs> The worst one is the climax version of that. Ugh. Also, the words climax heat action just kind of came yeah. to my mind again, and like, that's a weird set of words. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Fucking Peter Pan. <laughs> God. And we don't even get to put him in his place. <laughs> We will someday. Here too, everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life, trees and flowers. There's no deeper sadness and discovering all that you knew was gone. I'm just gonna say, I feel like this would probably ring out better if Aqua ever went anywhere but Cinderella's house. <laughs> <laughs> or no, wait, Aqua went everywhere, right? Yeah. I do not remember. <laughs> she went to a couple of places, I think, yeah. So here's an interesting mechanic that isn't in 3. <laughs> Make Akko a cat girl! You can complete challenges throughout the uh, demo. I get a couple of them done, so I will at some point pull up the wardrobe menu. I think I do it twice just to kind of show off a couple of the options. Some of those challenges are legitimately difficult, though. <laughs> also, not go with cat ears is all I've ever wanted. Depressed <laughs> cat girl streamer, Aqua. <laughs> She's already got the thigh highs. <laughs> and the weird jackknife boots. <laughs> <laughs> the rope collapsed when the clock advanced. You like axe kick somebody with that and it kills them. <laughs> if only I made it in time. When her top wraps around her neck, that's kind of like a collar. <laughs> Only the clock. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about Aqua wearing Heelys now. <laughs> <laughs> that would also be sick. <laughs> this Aqua, like, rolling down a hill, <laughs> can of beer in one hand, sea salt ice cream in the other. <laughs> Just like, every time she finishes a can, she like, spins around the block and tosses it at Terra. <laughs> oh, and you know she's not drinking good beer. She's got like, Keystone Light. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I don't drink, so I don't know what good no. beer is. <laughs> I drank for long enough to have a frame of reference. Holy shit, we can use magic now. <laughs> <laughs> magic is useful. <laughs> okay. I should look for a gear. You're going to see me use magic a lot in 0 0.2 and 3. <laughs> <laughs> I will never shut the fuck up. <laughs> we will never be silenced about magic. It's not eating crow if I only said it was bad in the first game. <laughs> sure. Enough! I was gonna say when you're talking about what moves Aqua drinks, I think she probably just regularly drinks like absolute trash tier beer, but she's got like 
a bottle of Yamazaki 12 year that she never drinks hidden somewhere in her house. <laughs> See, the th w at this point, we're just making Aqua me. <laughs> But if, but in that sense, I love it. <laughs> God, uh, Thunder is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, from what I got with Thunder, kind of puts like a status effect on enemies that like chain lightnings if you hit them. I think what it is is, um,. Enemies that get, like, the status effect put on them just take extra damage from the next hit? Question mark? Nah, uh, I mean, that's still really good, if that is the case. Or maybe, like, hitting them again does a minor AoE? I don't know. Yeah. Also, the range on that, um, lightning is kind of goofy. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It's, uh, Thundara, I think? Ah, yeah. I don't think we get to use, like, any of the ga spells in this game. Demo, whatever. <laughs> it's long enough that we had to split it into two parts. <laughs> we, can, we can call it a game, sort of, maybe. Slightly less time than it took us to get through Chain of Memories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Aqua now is the double jump. Yeah. I do kind of like the way they slowly give you your abilities back. I I think it makes sense from a thematic standpoint, too, because Aqua's just been kind of walking around getting rusty for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm also noticing that this game does the thing that a lot of, like, new entries in long-running games do, where they just take the, like, original-style UI and make it really small. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's, it's that the commands aren't as stylized as they were in the past. Yeah, and like I don't even know if you've noticed the health bar in the top right. It's very small. Oh, I, I can see in the lower right, but not the top right. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Like yeah. for enemies, yeah. I totally missed that. Yeah, it's so small. That's definitely a thing they fixed in three. Okay. Hey. Hey. I can't beat the shit out of these clocks. <laughs> <laughs> we have to defeat the clocks because they're controlling the clock tower in this world without time? Yeah. Question mark? A Aqua is taking a stand against daylight savings and she's right to do so. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Get him, queen. <laughs> also, hey, the shot lock is back. <laughs> Here it is. My favorite no fuck you mechanic. Ah, the Heelys. <laughs> no, that's just sliding down a hill. I choose to I choose to disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our head cannon. If you disagree, I will cancel you. <laughs> Writing a call out pull us now. <laughs> I I will say. After going through all of these games that are running on, like, PS2 or sub-PS2 hardware upscaled, it's real weird to look at this game. <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. looks a lot smoother. Does it play Holy any shit. better? Uh, it, well, I mean, it plays better than the Command Deck games. <laughs> I think if I had to place it, because, like, I don't really consider this as, like, a full thing, right? It's kind of, like, three but less. So, it, like, I would put it above Kingdom Hearts 1, I guess, but under three and definitely under two. I still need to fucking <laughs> play more of two. I'm so behind. <laughs> I meant to play each of these games as we finished them in the LP, and that didn't happen. Well, just look at it this way. Once you finish two, you can just skip to three. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I might rewatch some stuff, but I probably won't play most of the other yeah. games that are playable. I, I'm probably not going to play Kingdom Hearts ever, because um, 
I appreciate watching these. Not sure if I enjoy playing it as much. Hmm. I I have liked what I have played of Kingdom Hearts too. The Kingdom Hearts one has. I mean, we we've talked at plenty about how poorly that game has aged. So here's the thing, uh, situation commands, kind of like, you know how the command deck system, if you use like a bunch of spells of a specific type, you would unlock or gain a new fighting style that was of that spell type or whatever. Mm. Uh, 0 0.2 and 3 kind of do similar things. We're using uh, a lot of the same spell to do damage. We'll get you a stronger version like that was there. Mm. Uh, and just using regular attacks will give you, like, uh, the new moveset commands. That was a very impressive, um, animation for that attack. It definitely, I know because it's, like, Unreal Engine on better hardware, but, um, it's looking a lot prettier than it has in the past. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like we've started playing this game on hardware that is modern. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am very much enjoying the visual style of this. Ooh, also, holy shit, the Unreal Engine! <laughs> Alright, that's real neat looking. Oh. Fight the Shadow game. Soul NATO! <laughs> I love the Demon Tower. Yeah. It's such a cool design. Demon Tower is also a great name for that. Yeah. The, the gremlins have unionized. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here's Spellweaver. This is uh, it's basically the same as it was in Birth by Sleep. Mm. This is just a physical representation of me and my girlfriends whenever we join a voice call in your Discord server. <laughs> just me trying to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> dodge the demon tower. <laughs> Not really to the Demon Tower, but uh, I just had a very awful fall in the voyage as LP. Um, mm. see, uh, the fucking Pete in the Steamboat Willy um, world uh, getting his boat stuck in the Suez Canal. <laughs> oh, that is very dating, but yeah. hey. See, I thought you were going to refer to this as a non-fungible tower. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've said it, in, oh, I said it like in Discord call before, but like, when I read Non-Fungible Tower, I thought it would be like a small fungal disc with like information etched on it, like a vinyl, so you could get that information and like use laser printing to get it somewhere else. Instead, it's just like libertarians trying to destroy the Earth. <laughs> no, see, you're clever is the thing. <laughs> I want to date a disc on a fungus. Yeah. It's like something out of Dora Hedero. It'd be, it'd be awesome, but instead, no, this is the world we live in. Yeah. Darkness. Finding out that another artist or musician that I like is getting into NFTs is like finding out that a beloved character has been norted. <laughs> I'm already half non-fungible. <laughs> <laughs> what I wouldn't give to really turn back time. Also of note, hey, check out that lip sync. <laughs> They could just reanimate the lip syncs to fit the English dub now. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Aqua. Uh, it can't be. What? What are you what? doing here? You should be in the realm of light. Oh no. Did you not make it out? Don't tell me. Has the realm of light... <sighs> Why won't you say anything to me? Just staring at her like a goldfish. <laughs> So what are you? A memory among these shadows? Are you here to try and tell me? This really is that? just Aqua's depression quest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn. The world keeps our thoughts alive. Not helped by this music. God. Once the world was taken away, 
Aqua's gonna get up there and like find a sandwich, and when she takes a bite out of it, it turns out it's not being buttered. It's not been buttered, and also it's made of sand. <laughs> and also, she's a ghost. <laughs> and she's a quarter Z and all. Another world is lost <laughs> in the darkness. Hmm? Is that. <laughs> I'm glad that every world from Birth by Sleep, except, I guess, Neverland, <laughs> ended up getting, like, drawn into darkness. Has Lilo and Stitch World been pulled in, or will we see that later? Presumably, because Stitch is a summoning too. Hmm. You come here to tell me. And summons are just people who have been lost from their worlds I'm because, sorry. like, their worlds got stuck in darkness, mm -hmm. but they didn't get sent to Traverse Town. Yeah. Mm. I just want you to know that it's been you that keeps my heart strong. Keeps the dark away. What if sad, but also the power of friends? <laughs> that is Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. It's a mirror. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, if this isn't just self-doubt, like, being turned into a physical form, I don't know what is. <laughs> Two aquas, maybe more. Thank God. <laughs> Are you ready to solve some puzzles? Oh, good. <laughs> The two puzzles I always hate that pop up in games are um, either sliding block puzzles or, you know, those puzzles where you have to, um, met, like, you press buttons and it switches lights on and off, those ones. Oh, yeah. I am a fucking idiot and bad at both of those. Yeah, with the, with the, the latter of those, I usually just hit the buttons until it works. Yeah. Because my brain, my brain just doesn't work right for those. I got, on Resident Evil 4, I got stuck on the sliding block puzzle on that for hours because I thought, okay, I'm not doing this, let me find a guide. And when I looked up the guide, it says, okay, you, this is a guide from, you know, the default setting. And then I noticed it doesn't reset the puzzle to default setting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Thank you so I, much. I, it's time for us to get into the wardrobe. I'm sad that this doesn't come back in three. Yeah. <laughs> Time to make Aqua a hot pink bitch named Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> she don't be breakfast. Anyway. <sighs> noting, the, noting that the world is called the world within, I think I think you hit it right on the head there, Austin. Yeah. The whole self-doubt angle. Yeah. Also, I see it's taking place in the new WWE arena with all those light mirrors around. <laughs> also, being fair, I made that joke because we literally got pulled in by the reflection of ourselves. Well, yeah, but this one is just... The the, the title of the world is just, Hey, do you get it? <laughs> hey, here's a puzzle. Do you get it? Uh, aqua, uh, aqua, very depressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost everything. My friends are gone. I'm stuck in a world without time. But at least I found this cute cat here. <laughs> I still have my nyas. <laughs> yep. Dark world mew mew. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, okay, there's a mirror up there. But going through this mirror has been a bad thing, so. Oh ho. Hmm. God, what if we just had to fight the mirror from Snow White World? God, again? that's why I've been fearing. <laughs> you, you have to fight the mirror from Shrek. That's what it means mm. to face your demons. Well, at least if I'm joking about it, that's clearly not what's going to happen, right? Mm hmm. <sighs> 
Only your heart is hollow enough to be a demon's. That's not true! My heart is strong! I'll prove it! Such a lust for revenge. Ooh. Hey, hey, enough. Anyways, this fight's kind of neat. I hope you know how to block. <laughs> it's not like super boss levels of difficult or anything, of course, but... Is this the game saying, hey, how good are you at boss fights? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, do you know how to do a dodge roll? The count, the parrying in this seems a lot um, easier to pull off. You're done. Kinda, but also Aqua's like block and dodge has always been overpowered. True, because she she's mm. the technically more skilled Keyblade Master. Yeah. Did I ever tell you that the like legitimate strategy to defeating the Super Boss or one of them in uh, Birth by Sleep is to just have Aqua like equip one of the dodge rolls that does damage and then just never stop dodge rolling <laughs> because her dodge roll has like full invincibility frames during and a couple afterwards. <laughs> so the uh, Dark Souls fallen armor strategy. I suppose. Yeah. I played Dark Souls and I put on like the stupidest costume I could find and uh, had an axe so I'm... <laughs> Not the guy to talk about how to do Dark Souls, dude. There's an armor in Dark Souls that's covered in fawns, and if you roll into people, it hurts them. <laughs> that's a reference. Terra? Then? And now my own phantom? That wasn't a real phantom. Okay. It didn't have kitty ears. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can really tell which of these cutscenes is in-engine, which is, like, slightly pre-rendered based on... Yeah. <laughs> Whether or not Aqua's wearing the clothes <laughs> we gave her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was the... That represented the self-doubt of Aqua who believes she doesn't deserve cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> this section really does feel like them just going, Look at what we can do with the Unreal Engine! <laughs> Visually, it's kind of neat. I like the mirrored floor. And no one wants to. Yeah? You think you're lost? <laughs> what the hell? What? Oh <laughs> boy. Oh boy. Oh god. Eh, control's fine enough. This isn't Balan Wonderland when we're nauseating, but it's, it's something. At least we don't have to fight anything while we're upside down. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's mostly just the fact that there's no physical floor that's fucking me up. Yeah. I think the most nauseating game I've ever played was the, um... Ah, uh, god, what was it called? The Missing Swan or something? Unfinished Swan, mm. that's it. Right, yeah, that's it. Because it's set in an entirely white world where you've kind of, like, got to pin everything to see where you're going. And just walking around in that featureless white void, not sure whether you're looking up and down, really made me nauseous. Oh yeah, I bet. Um, I think the only game, two games that have ever done that is, like, when I was ten, I played Sonic Adventure. <laughs> at, like, way later than I was supposed to. So, uh, I got a little bit motion sick, and also, uh... Riggs, the, like, mecha sports VR game for the PS4? Mm. I played that for a bit, and I could, like, it's the only VR game that's ever made me feel off. Mm. Okay. Uh, Aqua versus Compet Aqua, round two. <laughs> versus what? Uh, Compet, Compulsory Heterosexuality. <laughs> oh, I thought that meant, like, competitive hetero. <laughs> Ranked competitive heterosexuality. I mean, that's kind of what it is in a normative society. So isn't competitive heterosexuality just been pickup artist? Uh, I was gonna say, it's that one scene from uh, Fight Club. <laughs> it's just fucking dating shows, it's just The Bachelor. Oh. That's what The Bachelor oh. is. Oh my god, so many chests! Don't fucking miss them! They're right there! I want this one. Um... Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> so, we have to find the right one. Oh no... 
this... Hmm? <laughs> you just have to but, go back and do it again? No, because if you look in the mirror, you can see which one is the right one. Oh. Oh. Puzzles! I will say this one did take me longer than it probably should have <laughs> the first time I played this. <laughs> Mega Ether. And uh, that's a, that mirror. Yeah. Right. And yet that one didn't even deserve a cutscene of it breaking. <laughs> I do appreciate that some of these aren't super long considering how many there are. Yeah. These blobs. I can never tell if these guys are weak to thunder or blizzard. Presumably thunder, I guess, because the fire ones are weak to blizzard. Mm. They do appear very liquidy. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Watch it be that they're weak to fire. <laughs> The, the weak to fire, because water is the opposite of fire, therefore fire should damage it. <laughs> God, this fight theme is good! Mm. This is pretty good, yeah. Shimamura just going nuts on that piano. Yeah. God, I love the wardrobe ability so much. It's so dumb. It also carries between save data, so like, thank God I somehow didn't have any. <laughs> Although if I somehow did, I would have just gone out of the way to make the du or the dumbest possible. You can get like mini mouse ears and a ribbon instead of cat ears. Oh God. That kind of makes Aqua look like a, one of those weird old Disney fan adults. Yeah, <laughs> the difference between cat ears and, and Minnie Mouse ears is the difference between trans icon and capitalist shill. <laughs> Aqua demands Disneyland be reopened from lockdown. <laughs> she wants to catch COVID waiting for Splash Mountain. Oh, they're, they're changing uh, Splash Mountain now, aren't they? Finally. Are they? Making it less like that. Yep, they're making it less like that. They're I'm glad we're having this conversation. Aqua's like in her monologue about how much she doesn't believe in herself anymore. We're just going off about fucking Splash Mountain. Listen. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> I think they re they re changed it to be Princess and the Frog. Oh, okay. Probably a much better idea. <laughs> Probably. So, uh, this fight is probably not the most interesting to watch. Because you're in a dark room fighting a bunch of shadows. Man, this reminds me a lot of, like, a certain fight from, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah, I was about uh, to say, this reminds me of a fight that we've already had. <laughs> real world of chaos vibes going on here, except this is a game of good combat. Yeah. Uh, I kind of wish that doing that, like, lit up the room a bit so you could see around you yeah. better. <laughs> I mean, my monitor's got HDR. This looks pretty good for me. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's... With all the particle effects going on, you kind of... It's almost a little difficult to see the aqua bit of doing ballet in that move. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god, I just had a realization. Um, this isn't actually the last game before we do three. No? <laughs> um, I still have to record the Kingdom Hearts VR experience. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thankfully, it's only like a half hour long, so. <laughs> is that, uh, let me guess, is it PR, PSVR only? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll come out on the Epic Game Store soon. <laughs> anyway, so just put some pauldrons on it real mm. fast. Let's skedaddle! <laughs>
<laughs> They're not exactly pauldrons. Uh, oh wait, yeah, it's covering a shoulder. Never mind. <laughs> sort of. It sort of is, but it isn't. So it's not real pauldron. <laughs> I hope you're ready to see a puzzle that kind of stumped me. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> not not this part. You'll f uh, know exactly where it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I didn't even realize at first that those were behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, what in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Timing puzzles. Yeah. Hey. Oh, this is no white world because we're like the mine tracks and everything. Yep. Neat. Back at it again with the d dwarf wood ones. <laughs> Yep. Along with our favorite cryptid, Sleepy. <laughs> yep. Enjoy this triangle skybox. <laughs> Kaleidoscopic hellscape. <laughs> God, that's just like a good two words. <laughs> <laughs> Kaleidoscopic hellscape is the name of my uh, math call metal band. <laughs> That's a shoegaze band, and you know it. <laughs> Kaleidoscopic Hellscape is opening up for M83 in April. <laughs> what is M83 doing touring this early? <laughs> Playing the hits, I guess. Man, this is kind of getting too political, but I'm just reminding that a lot of people in the UK got infected by COVID, because fucking stereophonics refused to, you know, on a lockdown and held a concert. Like, imagine getting Ugh. COVID because you want to see stereophonics, a band with, like, no songs I can remember. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't even think I know who that is. I know of the band Stereogram because of their song Walkie Talkie yeah. Man, but I only know that song because it was in, um, uh, it was in yeah, Stereophonics <laughs> have, like, one song that got a lot of radio play that sounds like every other one of their songs, and you won't remember it. If you heard the song, you think, oh yeah, I've heard that before, but I swear to God you won't remember a single thing about it. Oh. Ruh roll. <laughs> This is, this is so this is kind of an interesting part. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to go to this platform that like is in the direction of the camera there. Because yeah. mm -hmm. um, huh. there's a chest there and I want the thing. Even though like it doesn't really matter because it's just a potion. But um, <laughs> I don't understand how reflections work. <laughs> <laughs> Mirrors are the work of the <laughs> devil. <laughs> These are kind of interesting, actually. Uh, this definitely does feel like a tech demo, like the thing. Like, okay, let's see what we can do with this new, you know, hardware we have. Yep. Yeah, for sure. It is. Especially because the rest of the game, or, like, 3 doesn't feel this experimental mm. in a lot of places. Like, this really was just kind of throwing everything at the wall and seeing what's stuck. I think they also turned or toned down the particle effects a bit. Because I think some people complained that uh, there was too many going on in this there game. There are a lot going I, on. The, there's quite a bit, yeah. It's pretty, but uh, won't say no to less. Yeah, there's still a lot in 3, do not get me wrong, mm -hmm. but... Fight her again! You'll keep fighting her until you learn to stop fighting and give her a kiss. <laughs> gotcha. 
It is kind of weird that she has like a completely different move set the third yeah. time you fight her. <laughs> like you'd think the second time would have kind of built up some new or some of these new attacks. Yeah, you think and then this one would be like the culmination of all of them. Yeah, but instead, nah, third time, different fight. Oh, she can use your super Oh god, she's got spell weaver. <laughs> Listen, mental illness will always find new ways to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, but at least I yeah. can shot lock it. <laughs> that sounded way more dark than I intended it to. It sounded better in my brain. <laughs> Anxiety can't hurt you if you can just shoot it. <laughs> Anxiety, the, the fight and fly, you know, instinct that anxiety gives you doesn't work if you can actually fight it. <laughs> Alright, time for our quick shoot of rainbow shot locks. Every time I feel a panic attack coming on, I just pull out my gun. <laughs> I love you, panic gun! <laughs> Jesus. That's all of them. Just fire three rounds into my ceiling and the anxiety's gone. It's replaced with a different kind of fear. <laughs> but my shadow? She wanted to destroy me. Coming soon, the relaxation grenade. mirror we have to go through. Yeah. So of course it's another combat Ugh. challenge. I, I don't get why the actual one wasn't the last one, because that felt like the climactic bit of it. I don't think we have to do all of them. I think we just have to do the ones that have uh, the Phantom Aqua yeah, in I them. See. I just felt like doing them all, because hey, yeah. why not? At least give us slightly more time to talk about stuff in this like hour and a half yeah, long thing. Yeah, Mountain more. Real talk, I, I do not remember that much about that ride. I was very young when I went to Florida. <laughs> I remember it being, like, thematically being weirdly dark. It is, yeah. Like, it's just, like, it tricks you into thinking it's a lighthearted story yeah. about some cartoon bullshit. Yeah. And then at the end of it, it's like, always remember, death is inevitable, and then it drops you off a cliff. Yeah. I mean, it, it was based on uh, the uh, Br'er Rabbit stories, which, if I remember correctly, were folklore created by was created by slaves. Mm. I, I'm just gonna say I hate how like appropriate actually the talk about Splash Mountain is in three, because I hate <laughs> that Splash Mountain is like important to three. Wait, is it fucking really? <laughs> Sorta. In a way I don't want to explain, but will become apparent very quickly. Is my, is my Disney World experience going to finally pay <laughs> off? Is there going to be a reason for my suffering? When I tell you, Nomura really likes Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> the other Splash Mountain thing I remember is that fucking click call article about the animatronic fro fox telling someone he wants Never to marry his dad. My own worst <laughs> <laughs> I've talked to myself a lot since falling into these shadows. I know what that's like. The phantom. It's as though all my We're all in quarantine now, Aqua. You're not fucking special. <laughs> She's I do kind of like the whole world. thing of like. There's no real timeline of how long we've been here. There's no sun. There's no, no time. No, it makes sense. Like the realm of darkness shouldn't really have like days, nights, or anything. Time's just an abstract concept. I don't even think time moves in the realm of darkness. Technically, is this the last apparition before it takes me over? Oof. Anyways. Come back next time for more of Aqua's big gay sadness jamboree. Oh boy. <laughs> I love pain.